Alrighty, I finished getting ready. This is the look. Okay, so I got this bread from my favorite bakery and it's called Blackbird. And yeah, it just tastes really good. I also have this freshly ground peanut butter. Uh, this is the honey roasted one. When I went to Bok Barn yesterday, actually they have stopped accepting um, like your own containers. I think it's because of COVID-19. They just don't want to touch anything uh, unnecessary. So you have to use these plastic ones. Yeah, so that's a change. I thought I would talk about the changes I'm seeing. So right now in Toronto, um, all the restaurants are basically banned from having customers dine in, but they can still do takeouts. A lot of companies have sent their employees to work from home. And in the grocery stores, definitely a lot of things are unavailable. Like yesterday I went to just like pick up some carrots and sweet potatoes and there were none to be found. But what I noticed that was really funny is that in the produce aisle, like all the lettuce, all the kale are still there. Like no one is touching them still. So I felt kind of bad for lettuce and kale, but I didn't get them either. <laughs> so this is the matcha that I got from Costco. I got like a huge box. Uh, and then I just put it in a smaller container for easier access. And then this is a new addition. Uh, so this is uh, the green supplement from Teamy. And I just like to add like one tablespoon of it to my morning matcha. Like this is a really good one actually. So it contains matcha, spirulina, and wheatgrass. And also the matcha that they use is ceremonial grade matcha so it's like very very good um so this is a supplement so you can add it to water you can add it to smoothies and that's going to give you a really nice green color to your smoothie and also you can add it to juice and then i just like to add it to my matcha because number one it gives it a much better color i'm actually going to just do it right now so it gives it a really nice green color and number two, it just adds like a little bit more nutrients to my matcha so that it's not just caffeine. And lastly, it gives the matcha a much richer texture, which I really enjoy. It's good. I like it. Uh, Timmy has like so many other products. They have different kinds of teas. Uh, like I was saying, there's the immunity tea, which is great uh, for a time like this because we all need to boost our immune system. So yeah, if you're interested, check out Timmy using my link below and use my code TINATOM20 for a 20% discount on all your purchases. Okay, so this is my breakfast. Mm. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have also been quarantined or if you are allowed to work from home. To me, it doesn't really make much of a difference because I work from home anyways. When I first started working from home, like full time, I did remember feeling very lonely, but now I'm just like used to it. But yeah, if you are first starting out with, you know, social distancing, and now being able to go to work and socialize with your coworkers, it can be it can be really hard to get used to, and it can feel lonely for sure. So that's why I wanted to make this video because I want to show you like you can still have fun when you're by yourself. Okay, so I just finished my breakfast and it was really good. But before I start working, I just want to eat some more of this peanut butter because it's so good. I have sinned.
All right. The first thing I'm going to do is have a five minute journal that I bought, I think back in 2016. The first entry was made on April 7th, 2016. And I haven't really used it for a really long time, but recently I started to write in it again because I just wanna, I just wanna finish it. I'm like, I'm almost halfway through it. Weekly challenge, give a genuine compliment to a stranger today. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, you are looking good. Okay, so in case you're wondering, um, the five minute journal basically asks you to name three things you're grateful for, uh, three things that's going to make today great, and then your daily affirmations. And then in the evening, it's going to ask you three amazing things that happened today and then how you could have made it better. So basically, it kind of forces you to see things from a really positive perspective but also give you a chance to improve it. So yeah, it's, it's definitely good. All right, I just finished. For the things I'm grateful, for the past several days I've been writing, the thing that I'm grateful for is that I'm healthy. <laughs> Definitely not going to take that for granted these days. Okay, and then I'm going to just list out the things that I, I'm doing today. I think number one is to make my bed. to another video um, so basically in the video I was talking about this v-line mask which I'm starting to try out for four weeks and then I'm going to tell you guys what I think of it since we're all stranded at home right now I thought I would do a live stream for the first time this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern time the agenda for the live stream is that we're probably going to be cooking together and then also I'll be having dinner with you guys and also answer some questions uh, if you have any questions you can leave it down below and you know what I am like personally so terrified of doing live streams I've never done it in the past and I actually thought that I would probably never do any live streams because I just don't like the idea of doing anything on the spot or like not being able to prepare for things ahead of time yeah so that's just like my personality but i am for trying everything for once later in the day i decided to try to make a cloth reusable mask for myself because my disposable masks are running pretty low and there's basically nowhere to buy them nowadays there are lots of tutorials on YouTube and I'll link the one that I followed in the description down below. There's also a template that is provided in the video which is great. But I didn't have a printer so I decided to trace it onto a piece of paper. There's units on the template so all I needed to do was to match the unit on the screen to my ruler to make sure that everything is true to size. Once I finished tracing, I just cut out the shape that I traced and used it as a guide to cut the fabric. Well, step number one is to prepare your fabrics. So you want to have like fabric that's big enough 
to fold it over and then still cover the shape of your template. Uh, so you want to have two pieces of those. The steps to making this mask is pretty simple, but it can be time consuming if you're not experienced with sewing. And it definitely took me a while to get used to this. This method also requires an iron, which I didn't have. So I just used a hair straightening iron, which also gets the job done. The fabric that I used here is from an old tank top, which is a very soft, synthetic, and stretchy material. Later on, I realized that this is actually not a great material for masks because after I put it on, I was actually running out of air after wearing it for an extended period of time. So definitely choose a thinner and more breathable cotton material if you're going to try this. After like two hours, I'm finally done with this mask. And basically this is like a reusable mask. You can put filters inside, so it's like three layers. Uh, and then the middle layer is something that you can change out every day. And I'm just using these Pampers wipes. And I got this like five years ago, so it's all dried up. In some of the Chinese social medias, they're saying that these wipes are really good filter materials. And what they actually do is they would buy a pack of this and then just dry it up and then use it as filter for the masks. My entire pack is already dried up, so I don't have to do that extra step. Maybe I'll just fold it like, like that. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? And later on in the day, I went to my local no frills to pick up a few things. There is definitely some items that are out of stock, like avocados, but there's still a lot of varieties left, and it definitely doesn't look as dramatic as some of the pictures that I saw online. But the store does look a bit less organized than usual. I think the staffs just couldn't keep up with the increased demand. So everything that I wasn't able to get my hands on yesterday, I got them today. So I got a bag of carrots, sweet potatoes, one, uh, what do you call this? Pomelo, some bread, and also some guilty pleasures. And yesterday I got some avocados. And then I'll also show you what I have in my fridge. So not too much. I have some uh, mushrooms, uh, peanut butter, some leftover bread, this is my hummus that I made, rice, some tofu, green peppers, green onions, more tofu, this is daikon, this is like a radish type of thing, and celery, no one is buying celery, so I can still make celery juice, some okra, eggplants, apples, and potatoes, and I have one carton of milk. This is almost done. This is almond milk, oat milk. Oat milk was all gone, so only almond milk left. And that's it. While I was making dinner, I also started to watch a Chinese movie. The plot of the movie is basically that a light made all the couples in love disappear. So everyone else that's left on earth started to become kind of embarrassed about their relationship and also started to doubt their partners. So definitely a very interesting concept. For dinner, I made a stir fry with carrots, two kinds of green peppers, tofu, and eggplant to get in all that antioxidant and fiber. And then I also had some sweet potatoes and they're just perfect to eat as snacks and dessert. In the evening, I made myself some caffeine-free tea and indulged in a new hobby that I picked up recently, which is to study an ancient Chinese divination book, which is called I Ching, or the Book of Change. This book has both the ancient classical text and the modern Chinese translation, and it just brings me so much peace reading it because it's so distant from everyday life.
And also I can pick up some ancient wisdoms at the same time and practice my Chinese handwriting, which is quite rusty. And that is a day of my life being at home, trying new activities, new hobbies, and keeping myself entertained. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you've been doing at home.